I'm sorry. Wrong password. You're sitting here trying to hack Jin Yang's password instead of doing your actual work? Well, good luck. It's a 10-digit alphanumeric. 10-digit. I mean, you have one underpowered laptop, so, you know, you should have the answer in 9,000 years. Is that scene in Silicon Valley true? Can that actually happen? Can you actually hack a smart fridge? The answer is, so, you know that scene in Silicon Valley where Guilfoyle hacks Jing Yang's smart fridge? Is that possible? Absolutely. The reason is, is because if the fridge has outdated software, or maybe if it has some, some sort of flaw or open ports, you can penetrate it. So, you might think, oh, why would a smart fridge have SSH or Telnic, you know, open on smart fridge? devices or firmware. The reason is, is because when they want to make sure that their fridges and their products are secure and are updated and if there's any issues, it sends back diagnostics back to their server so they can analyze like the report. Or like when a person comes to try and fix the fridge or update the firmware, they need to access that port so they can check the diagnostics and check what's wrong with the firmware, if it's outdated or if there's a certain version they need to out, uh, update, etc. But can it be hacked? Absolutely. You could use MAP to probe the ports to figure out what vulnerabilities or services could be open and second maybe you could try running an exploit but in that scenario Guilfoyle had to write his own sort of exploit to attack this service or this outdated version of that firmware on the fridge and then basically what he just did was he just embedded he edited the source code he embedded his own version of that so maybe it was like a modal that he just added so that every time a person opens it it has a on event it has a on event function so basically when someone opens the fridge or like presses the button to start the fridge or firmware I don't know or fate when it when it detects a person in front of it that function in the code runs and then it opens a modal and then that's what we saw in Jin Yang's thing yeah so it is definitely possible and it's pretty scary